Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of No Man Land Survival Challenge. So, in the last episode we got more bees for honey. And that has been doing really well for us. We're going to keep pushing forward here. And see what we can get done. We're in the market for a new tractor. And seeing if we can get ready to plant crops this year. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's jump right into it. Okay guys, so as you can see it is February. I do have to apologize, we were in the process of recording the episode and our video file got corrupted. So all that we'd really got done though is we progressed about a month or so just to wait for the right time to sell our honey and to try and make the money for our next tractor that we're looking at getting, which will be hopefully an upgrade to the next John Deere um, that we are looking at. Now we were able to get uh, our, mo our field mode up here so we could feed our sheep because they are low on food. Let me see. Yes, they are getting low on food. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to hop up there, uh, pick up the rest of this uh, hay or not hay, but grass, and get things going. So to catch you guys up, we've got five pallets of cloth. Uh, we got all of our wool that was there over to the spinnery, and it should be in good shape. Let's go ahead and take a look at that and make sure. Yeah, we're at 3,000 liters of uh, wool into the spinnery, so we're creating fabric. We were able to load up half of our honey and get it up near the sell point. We're waiting on that price of honey to get a little bit higher. We're right in those months where it's going to come up and probably get up over or around that $3,360 range. So we're going to sell at peak price here and get as much money as possible out of our honey. So let's go ahead and get this uh, grass picked up and get our sheep fed. Go ahead and get that started. Something we figured out when we were doing this earlier actually is faster um, to run up to the top of the hill and come down. Now with the wagon, I think we can still move at about max speed, so we'll go ahead and continue to do that here and get the rest of this picked up. We did turn this into a time lapse, but since we just started, I'll keep you guys around for this one, and we'll go ahead and get this done. Now, exciting things happening. We're probably going to be somewhere the next month or so up over the hundred to hundred and thirty thousand dollar mark uh, which is going to allow us to get a new tractor hopefully a good cultivator a planter a rocker and hopefully a fertilizer spreader i think that's going to be the equipment that we really need to get on hand to be able to really put down some crops so we'll look into doing maybe some canola um I was looking at possibly doing maybe some sunflowers too. I'd really like to get the next production line as an oil plant. I think that would be a really good source of income for our farm. Uh, we could do, uh, I believe it's made from canola, sunflower oil. We'll have to look at the other one. I think olives are the other one, but I'm not sure if we could do olives. Olives are a vine crop, and the equipment to run vine crops is quite expensive. So. I'm not sure we'd be able to do that, but if we could do sunflower and canola oil, that would be a really good step in the right direction for our production farm and keep generating quite a bit of money for us. So. I do like that... Uh, able to pick up grass pretty wide here it's kind of nice so this field should give us almost a full trailer and we'll go ahead and throw all that over to the sheep get them fed up for the next month or two um, they have done really well with producing wool for us and they are generating babies at a pretty good rate I think they have babies every uh, four months or so so we get lambs through and we're making the money off of selling those guys back to the animal dealer which is a really good little passive source of income You can do a little tractor. You only have to pull us around a few more times and we're going to upgrade you. Really excited to get into a better tractor, something with a lot more horsepower. It'll help with uh, pulling up and down this hill here. One of the big things we really need to look into is a stump grinder. What can we get to get rid of those stumps in our field? That's going to be something we have to do pretty early on. 
uh, if we're going to create a uh, irritable crop down there in that lower portion of the field. We do have a few small stumps down there that we need to find and get rid of because they're going to create pretty big problems for us if we don't get them out of there. One being that uh, our equipment will get damaged when we run over it, and two, if we get to a point we want to hire a worker to do some of the work for us while we do other things like feed the animals and tend to selling our uh, commodities, then they will not be able to run the equipment in the field if those stumps are in the way. It gets them all confused and our, uh, our workers aren't the highest IQ people. They know how to drive in a straight line and run equipment, uh, but that's about it. So if anything's in their way or they have to turn, it, it, it kind of confuses them, so we're definitely going to have to make sure we keep a nice square field, clean field, so they can help us out as we move forward here. And while we have the time, I just want to go ahead and say thank you guys for watching the videos. I know uh, it's kind of a break from what we're trying to do here, but I really do appreciate it. Um, we're getting ready to have our 10th episode, which is... I believe is going to be this one and you know I really didn't know if anybody would ever watch these videos but I truly again appreciate you guys watching these videos and if you are here and you're enjoying them and you've gotten this far feel free uh, leave me a comment let me know how I'm doing if there's anything I can do better um, certain things for you guys I'll definitely try and incorporate that so again thank you guys oh she's struggling She's struggling. We can do it. Yeah, there we go. Right. You know, this tractor has been a really good tractor for us. You know, it's it's a small tractor, and it's been um, worked really hard. We've been running it ragged, but, man, it really has done some good things for us, gotten us this far, and I'm really excited about it, the fact that we're getting ready to upgrade because... Although it's been a good tractor, definitely probably needs to go back and find a new home because we're getting to the point where we're starting to outgrow it. And we're going to need something a lot bigger that can handle a lot more machinery, do a lot more for us. But I wish we had a way to put a front loader on this tractor. I would probably keep it around the farm if we could um, get a front loader on it, but it just doesn't have the option for the attachment. So we're going to have to let it go. Just getting close to almost ten, nine and a half thousand liters. It's good. If we can get a full, or just shy of a full trailer here, it'd be really good. Sheep only have about four thousand liters left in their, four or five thousand liters left in their trough. So, to get that topped off, and then we'll keep an eye out where the honey prices are, and hopefully we can sell that soon go ahead and get that sold at the max price we'll sell as much of it as we can over the next uh, day or two to really maximize our profits off of that and then if we get to a point we can I'll probably just let it go for the year and we'll get like a pallet storage location and start storing that honey and then we can have thousands and thousands of liters of honey to sell when the best price comes around or if we need to or in a pinch we can always sell some of it to kind of boost what we need but I'm very surprised. It, you know, it's funny because when I put down the first beehive, it was like 10 hives, right? And it was so slow. And I never thought that honey was going to make us any money. I, I really did not. I thought we were going to have to maybe do something to get more land and get more wood. And it was just, I was really worried as to what we were going to do. But they have come through, those little guys. They are buzzing and and making us lots of money so we went down ahead and put down another one because man they were just doing so good something we could also do in the future too I wouldn't mind putting down maybe who knows even a couple more of those guys um, we don't want to overcrowd the honeys or use them too much because we're going to have other things to do but honestly as a passive form of income and just supplying us with money as we go forward we could put down another couple of those guys. Maybe two more. Maybe four total would be the, the key or the answer to those guys. 
I think that'd be plenty. It wouldn't be a crazy amount, but it would be, you know, a good amount. And that way we could always have a nice big supply of honey. And also, if we do get into producing candy, when we, if like we get into doing sugar beets or um, sugar cane or something like that, and we start making candy in a candy factory, uh, that honey candy actually sells for pretty good amount of money so having the honey on stockpile would probably be really good for that so we'll have to, we'll have to maybe think about that in the future too those bees are are gonna be good for us okay tractor you can do it I know you can one last row and then you'll probably be done for this farm It may have a little bit more work over the next month or two till we get up to that uh, 99,500 that we need for a new tractor. But other than this, I think that's probably one of the last things it's going to do. So let's get this down here to the sheep, get them fed, and then head up to the sell point and get ready to sell our honey. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to sell the honey that's up there, run back down to the farm really fast, hook up to the pallet forks and get the rest of the honey on the trailer and get it back up there. Now, um, something I was looking into is getting a bigger trailer when we get the new tractor, so that way we can carry more pallets, because right now we're very limited on what we can carry. We can only carry about 4,500 liters of honey, or 48, 5,000 is like the max of liters of honey, and we just need more room maybe so we can carry our honey and our cloth up to the cell point all at the same time. That's something we're definitely going to have to invest into very shortly as a new trailer. So what I'll do, I'll go ahead and get this wagon unhooked. Uh, where's a good spot for it? Uh, there's a good spot as any, right? So here we go. Head up to the top here and see what honey prices are doing. So while we're driving, let's take a look and see... What a, now I know in the forestry equipment there is a stump grinder. What does that go on? That goes on the skid steer, which we don't have. Um, where's the stump grinder? Ah, here we go. 27,000, which, yeah. We're probably going to have to buy one of those. Granted, I would like to wait and if we get the land next to us, possibly sometime in the future, and maybe look into doing a sawmill or something like that, we might need to upgrade. But later on, we could do that. Um, I think for the beginning, getting that uh, $27,000 one would probably be the best go. We may even, depending on what happens here, we're going to shut this down because we're going to have to wait on prices a little bit here. Okay, so while we wait, let's go ahead and check out the store, look at a couple things here and see. Um, so Tractor-wise, we're looking at this guy right here, medium tractor, 175 horsepower, 24 mile an hour. It can have a front loader option. It can also, it has, it comes with the wide tires, but we'll probably go normal tires. We'll change those up to those. Alright, so we need 99,500. That's kind of our goal here very shortly. So we need to see what and when this price will peak at. So right now it's at $30 below. So we'll just have to keep an eye on it as the time rolls here. Now Another thing we need to find is a stump grinder. I believe this is going to be our option right here. This attaches to the back of the tractor or the front of the tractor and will grind out the stumps in our field. We're really going to need to get that before we go anywhere. Is there another stump grinder in here that attaches to tractor? What does that attach to? Okay, so that can attach to the tractor as well. Interesting. I like that. It's 41000 That's quite expensive. And I think, yeah, that's, that's it. 
for stump grinders that can attach to the three point. So I believe that's what we're going to go with. What's this? Uh, that's a planter. So we may get that eventually. Um, mulcher, mulcher. Is this? Oh, this moves removes tree stumps too. Wait a minute. Hold up. We're going to be cultivating the field anyways, so I'm not really worried about it mulching the ground because this will create a basically a, a field. So we could always go with this too. That is something that we could look at too. Okay, so how much, what's the difference here? 24, so about $2,500. And when every penny counts, maybe $2,500 is the way to go. So uh, when we get our tractor and we get up to it and we have a little bit more money, we'll look probably go between one of these two. Or sorry, one of these two. Yeah. Because that can take down bushes too if we really need to. But we can just mow bushes down. But I think this may be the option. It's cheaper. We can do the job. This one, though, on the other hand, hmm. oh, we'll have to see. Oh, wow. Okay, but I mean, it's only 150 horsepower. Okay, so that I think that was the biggest thing earlier. Is we were looking 90 horsepower, 150 horsepower. Okay, so no big deal there. Uh, let's go ahead and check those prices and see where they're at. 348, and it looks like it has peaked. Okay, so let's go ahead and sell. All right, it's peaked. That's where it's going to be. Let's go ahead and sell. And go down and get the rest of the honey. All right, off we go. 16,081, not bad. That is really good. Let's get down here and get the rest of it. Also keep an eye on the store there. Who knows? Maybe something will pop up in there we can use. Stump grinder or cultivator, planter, or cedar, something like that. It'd be really good. Let's go ahead and put this trailer around, get it in position, and start stacking up the honey. How are we looking? 3355. It's still going up. Let's give it a minute. Let's see. Hang on. Let's just sit here for a moment. 3355. Let's give it like another 15 or 20 minutes here and see if the price changes. 3355. Let's go to like 7 or 5.30 and see where we stand. That may be our cap, 33.55. But it's only $5 off max value, so that is still a really, really good price. And it looks like fabric and wool are both coming up. And we're sitting on currently, with the price as it stands, $60,000. In fabric, which we already have, $26,000 plus what we're about to sell should put us around 40. That'll put us to 100, 
and the wool should push us over the top of $100,000, which will be a new high for what we have in the bank. It will not last very long because we are going to buy a tractor, but that will be a new high in the bank for us. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 33.56. We're still going up, so I think we give it a little bit more time. And... Yeah, I think we go ahead and sell at that. I, it may go higher, but we can always uh, do more tomorrow. There we go, 40317 Very nice. We're just over $40,000, so that is absolutely fantastic. And we'll go ahead and head over the day and see what we can do tomorrow. Alright, a little bit of animal upkeep for this month, but that's okay. It looks like our bees are producing more honey for us. That is amazing. Let's go ahead and take a quick look into the used store here. Okay, nothing too exciting there. A mower, a truck, and a telehandler. But, eh, nothing too crazy. So... Let's look here and see where we're at this morning. Yeah, look at that. The price has gone down. Not much, but the price has gone down. Now, it may come back up a hair, but I think we need to go ahead and hustle, get the rest of the honey up there, and make that $8,386 off of the honey. We currently sit at... Oh, yeah, that price is coming up a lot. So is this one. So we've got another what eighty four thousand dollars sitting right there as well that is fantastic so let's get the honey on the trailer get it up there and get it sold before that price drops any further and hopefully by that time the prices on the cloth and the wool will level out if they're still going up we may have to wait to sell those as two so we'll get the honey sold first excited guys we're we're right there I, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get our tractor by this afternoon uh, we'll probably wait till around mm, maybe one or two o'clock in the afternoon and see where the prices are at if they're still going up rapidly or if they're starting to slow down uh, maybe we'll sell then the biggest thing is right so uh, let's take a quick minute when we get over here and let's look at and try and figure out what we're gonna plant see how much time we have to do that. So, let's go ahead, we'll get lined up here and we'll shut the, bar, or the tractor off so we can save some fuel. There we go. Alright, let's see here. Let's take a look. So those are still going up, that's great. Now planting wise, what are we thinking about planting? So we're going to have to make about another hundred thousand dollars before we can harvest. Because the harvester we're looking at is going to be, let's see here, harvester, harvester, forage harvesters, how much are those? A lot. Holy moly. That's a lot of money. <laughs> that, is, that is well outside of our price range currently. All right, what about a regular harvester? <laughs> so, um... All right, so we have a couple options here. I think, what's this guy? 175 horsepower, uh, 4,900 liter capacity, which is not a very large capacity. Now, this almost doubles that. Well, yeah, it's about 4, 000, almost 4,000 <clears throat> liters more. Um, has quite a bit more horsepower, too. What are the combinations for this guy? 
Okay, so this guy's got a few different headers here. That does sunflower, that does corn and sunflower. It even has a trailer for its header, which is nice. What's the width on this? Six meters. Um, let's take a look here and see. What was the header for the other one's width? Um, five meters. So it does have a bigger header by about a meter, which will mean faster harvest times. Would it be worth it? Well, how much was that header? Let's take a look at that first and see. So that's 30000 The other one's 25000 So it's about $5,000 more for the header and an extra, ooh, quite a bit for the, the harvester itself. Now, I don't think we'll need the header trailer for a bit, but what's this? This is six meters. How much is that? 63000 Now, I'd like to get the one that can do corn too, because I really would like doing some maize silage um, eventually, but we need a forester harbinger for that. Eh. Um, yeah, I think this might be viable. Let's see. What was that? Great demand at the farmer shop. I don't know if it's any of our stuff. What is it? Can we find it? Let's see. What is it? What is it? Where's who's got the blue check mark? Ooh, cakes. That might be something we have to look to get into. Yeah, look at that. Honey is already going down. I'm so glad we sold last night. All right, so yeah, I was correct. So it is sunflower, canola, and olive oil. And they are pretty good. Okay, let's see what... Well, it's nothing we have. Okay, lettuce. Hmm. Well, if we had lettuce, that would be great, but we do not have lettuce because we have not been able to get a... Uh, what's that thing called? Sorry, I had a brain block there. A greenhouse, sorry. I've not been able to get a greenhouse up yet, so we talked about it early on, but we have not gotten one just yet. Uh, we got more honey going. Um, who knows, maybe that'll stop and come back up, but... I mean, we're into March, so it is probably going to drop off very rapidly. I'm really glad that we got it sold when we did. This is still climbing. That is fantastic. All right, well, while well, it's climbing, let's go ahead and get everything loaded up. And uh, hopefully by about noon, we'll get up to the uh, shop. Probably go ahead and get our tractor repaired, repainted, and see what we can get for it. How heavy are these? Let's see. Can we, can, how many can we carry at once? Huh. Can we carry three? Let's see. That bounced us a little bit, so I'm not sure if we can carry three or not. there. Nice sunny day to be moving our cloth around. So let's go and get that on the trailer. We almost lost it. We almost lost it. It was so close. Okay. Uh, whew. That was, yeah. Let's not do that because 
Honestly, if one of those tipped over on the trailer, I'm not quite sure how I would actually get it back uprighted. So that was almost disaster number. I don't know how many disasters we've had so far. We've had it. We've had a couple, but that was close. Could have been bad. guys sit up by the sell point. I think we'll do the same thing. Um, get them up top, get them ready to sell, and then check out the store. Do a little bit of shopping. Love going to the store. flying around. That. Oh, that's the spinnery. Okay, that's the machines inside. I was like, I, I seriously thought that was a plane flying around above. I was like, I have not seen the plane yet. So where's the plane? But, it was just my spinnery. So those guys inside working hard, turning that wool into fabric. if they have the cool spider machines in there. I don't know if you guys have ever seen those. They're really neat. Machines that call them it's like a spider because they have a whole bunch of different arms and cloth coming in and all that stuff. It's really neat looking. Okay, let's get set up to pick up the wool. We'll drop the pallet forks right here in front of it and then we will head up to the cell point to pick up our cloth. First, go. Okay, not too bad, guys. So, biggest thing here, wait for sell times. Make sure we can sell at a good price. And then we'll go ahead and sell the rest of this. Make our money. Now, it's crazy to think about, right? So our honey... We have to load up the trailer like twice just to make 40,000. This pallet load right here, just this trailer, is worth, let's call it $70,000 or more. Actually, yeah, 70, 73,500-ish. So cloth was definitely a good call. Eventually, we can put this into a clothing store, and then we'll make clothes, and clothes go for buku buku bucks. So that is something we're definitely going to have to look into in the future. We'll probably need to get more sheep before we do that, so we can keep a steady supply of cloth. Alright, whoa, we almost sold again. Uh, almost two big mistakes. Okay, so let's take a look at price here. We are at currently 10542 and it is coming up. So we'll let that sit for now. Uh, let's take a look at the store here and see anything new in the used department. No. Okay, so again, let's just take a look just to be sure we're doing the right thing here. Um. Did I just totally skip over the case? Or am I a silly person? That's 170. Or okay, so that's 175, that's 170. Let's take a look and see. Okay. So it goes up to 142. You have two options. So yeah, okay. Never mind. Or wait a minute. Yeah, it's just the two options, right? 
So 119 gets us 214. So that's still an extra $20,000 on top of what we're looking to pay for the other one. Now it is over 200 horsepower, so we could use some equipment that's over 200 horsepower. Although, I think the biggest thing, and maybe we did look at this before, now that I'm noticing, it does not have a front loader attachment. So that is something that this tractor can do, is get a front loader, which is going to come in clutch later on for doing bells of hay, um, feeding animals, moving stuff around. We can put a bucket on it so we can move stuff out of a silage pit. There's so much more we can do with this guy than we can with that case. So I think our best option is still to go with the John Deere. Um, now we are going to have $130,000, but I don't think we need to spend all that because we're going to need to get that uh, stump grinder. Yep, definitely going to have to do that. So, okay, let's give it a little wait here and see. 10.55, we're still coming up. Let's hang out till around noon, see what that price goes up to. We'll go in and say hi to our nice lady in here. Hey, how's it going? Having a good day today? Saw you marching around earlier. You looked very angry. Well, hopefully you feel better. What do we got over here? Some deaf. Some oil. Okay. Nice little shop you guys got going here. You know, I've never actually looked at these pictures. That is a very, very old tractor. And that's a very new tractor. Big Bud. Wow. That is a, that is a heck of a tractor there. <laughs> okay. Can we go in here? Nope. Alright, where are we? 10,583, that is going up quite quick. Alright, let's see where we're at for prices. We are at 10731 for fabric and 3429 for wool. They are shooting up very quickly. We're getting pretty close to max here. Right now if we sold, uh, we do have some more honey down there we could actually grab um, almost $4,000 worth. Uh, we need to wait until the fabric is ready to sell though because we have that on the trailer currently. And we are in a really good position. We're going to have plenty of money to get our tractor and the first couple set of tools we need to make fields. So let's take a look in the used car section. It looks like, oh wow, look at that. Oh wow. That goes to the case. What does that go with though? So that's the 320... That goes with that guy, doesn't it? Yeah. Very nice, but I don't think we're going to hit $301,000 and be able to get that harvester. Well, who knows, though? We'll see. When we get ready to harvest, we're, we're going to save as much money as we can, and we're going to buy our harvester right before harvest um, so we can get the best option. So if we can go with a little bit bigger harvester, uh, you know, so we can harvest a little bit quicker, we'll definitely do that take a look at our prices here. There they are zooming. They are zooming. 
So we're looking good. They'll have to work their way up. But we are doing really well. How's our store doing? Yep, tractor, truck, that. This would be really nice if we were going with a different type of silo. I think if we go with soybeans, that would give us one, two, three, four, five. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, almost six months worth of supplies. Well, we're selling all of this supplies this month, so let's call it one, two, three, four, five. Six months of products to sell. Can we make enough to get a decent harvester by October? I think we can. So with that, the bees are definitely going to take off production-wise. Now the price is coming down, I'm pretty sure. Let's take a look at that because I think honey is about to drop off on its price. But... Let's see, yeah, getting into next month it is definitely going to drop, but we'll still be able to make quite a bit of money off of it. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to make ooh, quite a bit less. Now, it's only going to be three or four hundred dollars under premium, but we're still going to make quite a bit as the months go forward. Fabric. It's going to stay up and then it's going to drop down as well. October is the worst time to sell for it. So maybe we'll just have to sell it as we get it and build our money slowly instead of one big sell at the end. So we'll just sell as much as we can early and we'll just keep selling everything we have every morning until we get into October, September, October time frame. Same thing for um, wool. How's wool going to do? So yeah, we'll sell wool through April, and then we'll push all the wool we have into fabric. Whew. If we can get in clothes, that is some money right there. Three and a half pallets of clothes at map premium price would buy us a harvester. It's pretty amazing. All right, where are we at? Let's see here. All right, wool has started to go down. That's not a good thing because we're... How far away are we? You know what? I think it's time. And we'll go ahead and kick back to regular time. We need to sell our wool before it goes down any further. Three, five, four, five. Yep. So that is right at almost peak. This is like... Uh, that's like a thousand dollars off peak though. That'd be seven thousand extra dollars, I guess. Yeah, about seven thousand. I think we can sacrifice seven K. Alright, let's go ahead and get this sold, get our new tractor, and go get the wool. There it goes. Watch that money fly. Look at that. $122,823. Fantastic. That is what we've been waiting on. Amazing. All right, let's go ahead, get this disconnected. Let's get this inside. It may need a little baby repair, but we just drove it out of the shop from getting fixed. So let's see here. Uh, no, we're good. We get $9,514 for this guy. So let's go ahead and sell that here pick out our new tractor. First things first, let's check the store. Hey look, there's our tractor for $9,514. Amazing. Um, it'll go to a new home. It'll go somewhere good, but for now we need us a new tractor. And I am look had my eye on this guy for a while, so I think it's time. Although we do have, how much do we have? We have 132, so that'll leave us about 32,000 plus what we're going to get for the wool. Now, if we sold the wool, hmm, see, now I'm being indecisive again. I'm being very indecisive again. Let's see. If we sell the wool, we've got 850 liters in there. Do we have any more in there? Is it going to hit 1,000? No, it's not going to hit 1,000. We could put more wool in there. We don't have a tractor to do that right now.
So, bummer. And we don't have a tractor to sell this either. I think we, we did that on purpose, didn't we? Because we were going to get $15,000 for our wool. And $15,000 would put us at one forty seven. What what would we have gotten for one forty seven? Can we get a large tractor for one forty seven? No. The cheapest large tractor class, which is the eight series, is one eighty five. So I'm not worried about that. Small tractor or medium tractor though wise, what could we get? We could move up into this range. Nope. Couldn't move up into this range. The 7 series, 6 series, 8 series are all that same price. So it looks like we're going to have to stick with our original. This guy. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. 150, 155, that's about as high as we can go, and that's 175 as well. So 175 horsepower, here we come for 100 less than $100,000. Now, we're not going to go with the wide tires right away. We'll make it sound realistic, which is always fun. The front loader, do we want to go ahead and put the front loader on? Um, no, we'll get the front loader attachment on there soon. Uh, camera system, yeah, we could go ahead and throw a camera on it. It's only $400. License plate, uh, we don't need a license plate, but that's okay. Uh, GPS, no, we'll get that a little bit later. That's $15,000 we don't want to spend. So $9,990. Say goodbye to our money, gentlemen, because here it goes. Bye-bye. <laughs>
We are zooming. All right, let's get over here. We'll load up the wool, get that sold, and I think that's where we're probably going to call it a night, guys. Uh, we should probably grab the honey, too, and sell it because we have got some more honey. So we'll grab the wool, stack it up, make enough room. We'll get the honey and the wool on the trailer, get it up there, get it all sold, and we'll be ready to start buying equipment for planting next month. I am absolutely ecstatic about that. That is wonderful. Alright, I think we dropped the trailer right here. Now, I gotta test something out. Because I feel like this might work. Let's see here. We can put these on here. Oh, yes we can. Oh, baby. Now, it's also a forklift. Oh, yes. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And look at that. Boom. That is so cool. Oh, we are going to have to... Well, it's got a little bit of a dip down to it, but not a huge issue. Okay, we're, okay. we were thinking we were going to have to back up to it, so... Kind of got this in the wrong spot, but... Let's go ahead. Now, this means that our spinnery is going to be out of we need to push those forks back a little bit don't we let's see how far back can we go and get both of those pallets there we go we need room for the honey so let's make sure we get it on there good spot there we go and right there looks good to me Boom, just like that. This thing moves stuff so well. Okay, oops, flipped one over. It's okay. You know what we could do? We could probably get another pallet of clothes if we put this one in. 330 liters, yeah, that should get us another pallet of uh, fabric. So let's go ahead and get that inside as well. There we go. We'll let that run. I think 4,000 liters of wool is plenty to sell. So, we'll definitely do that. This is so much easier. There we go. Will we have room on here for the honey? Can we get... Maybe if we put these on... Can we stack these on top of the other ones? Let's see if we can stack these on top. You know what? We may not need to buy a forklift for a while. Uh, being able to do this. This is nice. So much nicer. Look at that. Boom. Let's get those strapped down. Right like that. Very nice. And the cool thing is... If we need to pick up extra stuff, we don't have to detach the forks anymore. <laughs> How cool is that? Look at that. Amazing. Oh, wow. That is, yeah, by far one of the coolest things we've done in a while. Now, I wonder, how many pallets do we have of honey? Let's see. We have four, okay. so we're definitely going to have to get those on the trailer. Can we lift three at a time? We probably shouldn't, but I definitely want to test it. Let's put the trailer like this for loading. Get it unhooked. Okay, now can we lift three pallets now? We have a much bigger tractor. It's on the front of the tractor as well. I don't think this will tip this tractor, but I want to check and see. Can we do it? Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Well, we found our forklift, guys. Look at that. Uh, 
we're a little crooked on the pallets, though. Let's fix that real quick. And we do have two more pallets over there, so... It's really good. Yeah, look at that. It bounces us a little bit if we put it on the tip of the forks, but... I think we could get a weight to put on the back if we absolutely had to later on. Um, but for right now, that is really good. Alright, let's see here. There we go. Will that fall over? Nope. Okay. Let's grab this other pallet and a half of honey. We'll go up and sell. And the nice thing is, this tractor should have plenty of horsepower to pull all of that. Oh, what an upgrade. We have lights, we can see. What an upgrade. It was a long time coming, but I tell you what, guys, I am ecstatic. This is by far... stuck there. There we go. just want to get them on the middle of the forks so that way we can... There we go. Get them on the trailer easily. There we are. And you know what? We'll just go ahead and leave the forks on the front of this tractor. We're not going to be really putting anything else on the front of it or for now, so I think we just leave what's on there on there and then we'll go ahead and get those strapped down yep there we go and off we run oh wait man we should probably hook up the trailer before we take off a little excited okay and let's check out our rear view camera and see how well that's going to work when we oh yeah look at that camera shows us the trailer so we can do a lot more first person view for you guys i really like doing first person view it makes things really cool really see much with the pallet forks on the front, but it, it works out. You know. We may have to do a lot more first person driving, guys. This is this is sweet. Alright. Okay, well, let's get up here and sell this. <laughs> I'm like a kid in a candy store over here, man. We're just playing with all sorts of stuff. And we can kick our camera off. Alright, let's see here. Zoom, what do we get for this bad boy? And look how fast we got up here. Oh, wow. 20,288. All right, so we're at 49,947. Just shy. Just shy of $50,000 in the bank for new stuff. And we've got a nice, fast, strong, workable tractor. Well, guys, I think that's where we're going to call it for this episode. Big steps forward. Big, big steps forward. We have progressed so far this last almost just half a year in the last six months we have really taken giant strides towards really good progress next month we are going to get into planting some crops uh, see what we can get in the ground I'm really thinking maybe possibly soybeans and then rolling into like half the wheat field into a winter wheat and doing something like that but for right now that is a great place to call it a night um, let's just check on the sheep real quick just to make sure they've got food. They should be good till morning. Um, and the spinnery looks like it should make about another thousand. So in the morning, we'll probably do some mowing, get the sheep fed again, get the wool over to the spinnery so that way it can continue to produce clothes or fabric for us and go from there. But until then, guys, I hope you have a great night. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.